Welcome to Lex's World, everybody, on another fun-filled day. Today we're tackling the question of whether cannabis affects your immune system and how. Does it strengthen it? Does it weaken it? We'll also touch on how this impact ties into arthritis, and what does it mean for smoking up when you're kind of under the weather and feeling fluish. This is a very hard topic to get a good answer to, and you'll get very different answers depending on which source you read. But in my humble opinion, I think I have it correct, even though I had to rope in some folks with an immunology background to do this episode. So thanks to them. So we've known for decades that cannabinoids within the cannabis plant can do cool stuff related to the immune system, like decrease inflammation. Inflammation is just a defensive immune response that the body frequently uses. Only problem is, cannabis achieves that result by suppressing parts of the immune system. Now, if you have arthritis, or multiple sclerosis, or even lupus, you may be in a situation where you actually want your immune system to be turned down. And that's why cannabis works terrific for any of those medical conditions. But obviously suppressing your immune system isn't always desirable. Our inflammatory responses legitimately act as the body's defense mechanism in most cases. Adding up all that info, it makes sense that when you're sick with the flu, or you have a fever for some reason, smoking up before the fever is gone, while you're still fighting it, can make that fever come right back and hard. People have made that mistake. I know I sure have over the years, and if you've had that happen, uh, please leave me a comment because I'd love to know exactly how common that is. For me, it works like clockwork. If I'm sick or I'm just done getting over the flu, smoking up definitely has strong odds of making the flu come right back. Also, yes, you drop your immune system more if you're combusting cannabis rather than eating or vaporizing it. Simply because inhaling any kind of smoke makes your immune system work harder. That information was stumbled upon years ago during research observing various medical cannabis patients. And that's why edibles eventually became so popular with medical users. But the real question is, how much does cannabis weaken your immune system? And by all appearances, it's not an enormous amount. Considering chemotherapy or AIDS patients are still able to use cannabis, even though their immune systems are already compromised. The benefits of achieving a heightened appetite during chemo, for example, simply outweighs the disadvantage of a slightly lowered immune system. Now, some of you out there might be wondering, does all of that mean that you're going to get sick more often if you smoke weed a lot? Well, this isn't 100% consistent. Some people smoke tons of weed and never even sneeze or have a stuffy nose. The immune system is kind of a complex thing from person to person. But for most of you, yeah, that's what that means. Heavy cannabis consumption equals lowered immune system more often, equals somewhat higher frequency of getting sick, especially if your immune system is on the weak side to begin with. But what really increases your odds of catching a cannabis-related cold isn't the actual cannabis or its impact on the immune system. It's the social habits. There's this strange social phenomenon across cannabis culture of sharing joints and pipes and bongs and so forth. It used to be more prevalent during Prohibition, but it's still very much a thing. And it's actually a really weird norm if you stand back and think about it for a while. You'd never share a beer or a cigarette or even a chapstick amongst a group of half a dozen random people at a party. But people do that all the time with cannabis. I discourage that kind of thing simply because it can pass colds and flus back and forth like nothing. And it's the primary reason why I have multiple uh, volcano bags for my volcano vaporizer. I always encourage people to have their own pipes, their own bongs, their own vaporizer pieces, whatever. Especially during the flu seasons. And I also encourage people to check out the video description where our sponsor TNB Naturals can be found. And they make all sorts of useful gardening gear for you growers out there. 
Anyway, that's our topic for the day. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you back here next time.